Hello, my very most beautiful Capricorn. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. So guys, we are going to be doing your October 18th through the 24th reading. It is a general reading. It will not be able to, you know, resonate for everyone out there. So if you do want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. Everything that you guys need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box for you. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Capricorn, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorn's energy. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on. Wow, communication. There's definitely going to be communication. Okay, we got the night. Yep, somebody's no longer waiting for the right time. I do feel like somebody was waiting for hope. There was something they wanted to say, then they were waiting. It's almost like this, like, on edge, like, waiting, 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 but something just shifted, okay? Then there's no more waiting. This person is speaking their truth, whether this is you or them. We're going to have to figure that out in a moment. Now, for your energy, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Moon card, and we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. It really feels to me... That you've been hesitant to figure out, to hesitant to move forward, okay? I feel like you've given a lot to this connection in the past, okay? I do feel like this is a past person. I do feel like this is something that you've given a lot to in the past. And with the moon card being here, it's like, look at all the stuff that they have to go through to get through to this path. They have to go all through all these mountains. The two towers in the moon card do represent a challenge in itself. Okay, so the pathway is filled with all kinds of perils. The perils you can see up front and then the mountains in the further back, which represent more of a challenge. So I feel like what's unclear to you and what makes you so unsure about what to do moving forward is how much you've already given to this and how much more you're going to have to. How many more challenges are you going to have to face? What more are you going to have to deal with when it comes to this person? They have the sun card, the world card in the reverse, and the strength in the reverse. I feel like they're going to be the one to communicate, okay? Um, because they're the ones who are no longer holding back. They don't have the strength to fight it anymore, to fight the urge to communicate with you, to tell you how they feel, to reach out. Okay, they can't fight the urge anymore. They're no longer holding back. We got the world in the reverse. They feel like things are unfinished. They feel like things are not finished between the two of you. Okay? You make them happy. They're clear. The sun card does not only represent happiness, but it also represents enlightenment. This person is very clear about what they want, and that's what they can no longer hold back. Okay? They feel like they can't quite be happy without you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles energy. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles energy for Capricorn. Queen of Wands. Yeah, in the past I feel like this person did make you happy. This sun card also has the sunflowers over here, and she is grabbing onto a sunflower here. Um, you know, you do recognize that you guys are happy together. There are times of that. Um, and I do feel like in the past you were like, screw it. You know, it's almost like this energy of just going for it. It didn't matter about the risks. You know, the Queen of Wands in the traditional Rider Waite deck, she is the only one that doesn't have the salamanders on her cloak. The salamanders do represent, like, protection from fire. They represent, um, you know, being able to withstand the fire, withstand the risk. She doesn't have that, which means she takes the risk knowing she may not come out of it, okay, knowing it may not work out, okay? It's more risky for her, I feel, than the Queen of Wands, who has that protection. And in the past, I feel like because it felt good, because they make you happy, um, you're like, forget it. I don't care about the risk and went for it. But now you're hesitating because you're like, how, how much more am I going to do that? How much more should I have to do that? Tell me about this two of wands in the reverse. Tell me about the two of wands in the reverse. The queen of pentacles. Yeah, you're not sure if it's worth investing any more time, effort, energy into it. You've already given so much. Tell me about this moon card. The 
Knight of Cups. A dreamer, a visionary. It's almost like you can't see past the conflict anymore. At one point, you did have a, a dream and a vision for yourself with this person. You know, your life, when you've pictured it in the future, was you with this person. Things you were going to do together. I mean, it just was. It was you and them, them and you. Um, but now you can't see past all the conflict. You look ahead at the path, and all you see is more problems, more mountains in the future. You've already looked at everything you've given, how much risk you've already taken. I do feel like this is somebody you guys have been mostly out of communication with. Some of you guys could have been out of communication for a while. Tell me about the strength card in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. So this person really needed to learn some lessons here. And I feel in the past maybe they weren't very committed to the connection or they weren't as committed as they should have been. There's something about that here as well. And they're starting to see... Um, you know, their part in things are starting to see the lessons that they needed to learn. And I feel like they have learned a lot of lessons throughout this separation as well. Tell me about this world in the reverse. Let's see what flipped over. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, definitely a past person coming back around. Um, and we are still in the Mercury retrograde up until the 18th, but there's still going to be like an after shadow period too for a little while too. So that energy still kind of applies, even though it will kind of lighten up. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune, you know, they just feel like things aren't finished. They feel like this is not the way you guys were supposed to end. Tell me about the Sun card. The King of Wands. So you do have the Queen of Wands. They have the Queen of or the king of wands they do feel like you guys are divine counterparts and i do feel like this could be a divine counterpart um for some of you guys because it is showing up that way this person they're like we are too good together i feel like this energy when you guys are good you guys are amazing like that couple the couple that everybody wants to be but when you're when it's bad it's really bad okay that's kind of the energy that's coming through here um, but this person you know, they just feel that they've learned enough in this separation and they feel like things are not supposed to be this way. They're not ready to let you go. And they I feel like they've been trying to hold themselves back. Something here with waiting for the right time. Um, but they're not able to anymore. There's something here. They don't have the strength to hold themselves back. There's definitely going to be communication. Yeah, as I said that, we have the Knight of Swords showing up here too. So we're going to pull some cards and see what other messages we can get. And then we're going to take a look at actions, any potential actions they may be taking towards you and any potential actions you may be taking towards them. You and I were too young. So some of this is where they feel like you guys, if it wasn't actually young when you guys were together, it could have been like immature. There's, like I said, there's things that this person understands now that they had to learn um, in order for you guys to have something successful. There's something about here where they, they were recognizing that maybe you guys were too immature at the time. Maybe there was stuff that you guys didn't know, stuff that you guys needed to learn. For some of you guys, it could be that you guys were just too young the first time. Just take it how it resonates, but if it's not your message, leave it for somebody else. I couldn't let you get close to me. So maybe this person had a hard time um, being vulnerable, opening up, being honest. Um, there could have been something that here, and they're recognizing where they have this, where they were, were immature at, where they were emotionally immature at, where they made mistakes at within the connection. I feel like these are some of the lessons that this person had to learn. And I feel like they had to go in this separation with you in order to learn them. I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, I feel like... Um, I definitely feel like that with the, especially why the wands are coming up. Um, cause I just feel like there's something about your guys's connection that is very fire like energy. Okay. It's very hot and very passionate. Okay. There's just something that is magnetic about the two of you. Let's see how you would be feeling. I left before you could leave me. So that's a message for somebody. So either that's something that if you're the one that left, then that could be what you want to, my goodness, what you want to say to them. And if they were the ones that left, you know, this is what they want to, they want you to understand. Or maybe you do understand already, but that's why. Ooh, okay, we're not quite taking that many. Some of you guys did. Some of you guys had to leave. 
before they could leave because you could tell. And then the way that things were in the connection, okay, it just felt like you had, this is what you had to do. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys, this was very hard on you guys. And that's why you've given so much to already. And you really don't know, you know, if you guys can get past it. When you look at the future now, the vision has changed like we just talked about. And some of you guys are like, I just don't know if I can put myself through this again. I don't know if I can keep doing this. I need, I need some time to heal. I need some time to be okay again. I am not available. Some of you guys definitely are going to be, you know... I feel you even though we are at par at the bottom. So I do feel like some of you guys, we need to let each other go. I hope you can forgive me. Some of you guys are really just not in this energy. Um, you're not wanting to open back up to this because it's already taken so much from you. And some of you guys, you know, really just want to heal. You really just don't think you have it in you to, to go another round in this. Okay, and obviously that's not going to be for everybody. But I do feel like that's a message for somebody out there. So we are going to pull some action cards and see. What potential action will this person be taking towards Capricorn, please? What potential action will this person be taking towards Capricorn? What potential action? So we got the devil. Very, They are still very feel very attached to you. They cannot shake you. Um, and this is your energy. So they're kind of obsessed with you. They are obsessing over you. They are feeling so attached to you and very attracted to you as well. Okay. Very attracted to you as well. They also have the six of wands. I definitely see them coming forward. Okay. They definitely want this to work with you. That's what they want. That's their intention. And they are definitely obsessing over you, thinking about you. I'm even getting that some of them are thinking about you, like having like sexual fantasies and things of that nature as well. Okay. Um, so there's that. Let's see. What other actions will this person be taking towards Capricorn? Any other actions that this person may be taking? Got the King of Swords. So they're going to come forward. Now the King of Swords, uh, he does speak about blunt honesty. He's the only court card that faces you straight on and, and does speak about being very forward, very honest. I do feel like this person is just going to come and they're going to just lay it all out for you. They're going to tell you exactly what they've learned, exactly how they feel, exactly what they want. There's going to be no being around the bush or sugarcoating. They're just going to lay it all out there, okay? They're going to be very forward and very honest with you. What actions will Capricorn be taking towards this person? What actions will Capricorn be taking towards this person? Any actions that Capricorn may be taking? The Knight of Swords in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Actually, I want to get one more. What potential? The Magician. So... I'm getting a couple different messages. I do feel that some of you guys are going to not want to communicate with this person. Um, you're not going to be very open to what they have to say. You, I do feel like you'll hear them out, but I'm not sure you're going to open up in the same way that they're going to open up to you. I do feel like some of you guys are choosing, like I said, to take the time to heal and to just let this go because you just don't feel like you have it in you to do this again. You can't see it really getting better. You can't really see the change, okay? That is a message for some of you guys out there. For the rest of you, um that do want to work on this because I do feel like there are some of you that do. I'm picking up a couple different storylines. We have the magician. We have the eight of pentacles. This is that determination to, you know, give this some attention, to put the work in on it, to manifest a second chance. Um, I do feel like there's some fears here. So the nine of pentacles in the reverse, it can talk about wanting to commit, being ready to commit. And I do feel like some of you guys just could be really setting your mind like okay let's do this you know let's commit to this let's really make it happen let's really put the work in let's really focus on it this time let's do it the right way um for others of you i do feel like it is representing you know how draining this has been on you and i just feel like you're still willing but you're you do have some fears worries and anxieties so just there's qu quite a few different messages of quite a few different storylines and that you know is you guys, it is a general reading. So just take the messages that are for you and leave the rest for somebody else. Let's get you some confirmation, clarification, and some advice. Okay, well, that was fast. I'm going to get one more. All right. 
So we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So when it comes to second chances, you know, it's time to release negativity. If you're going to do it, do it, you know. Um, try to be as positive about it. Try to have as good of a mindset and belief surrounding it as possible. We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I do feel like this person is going to be coming in and speaking some really deep truths. Like I said, they're going to be shooting it straight with you, telling you things straight up. They're going to be telling you the lessons that they have learned. And I feel like as you guys do this, as you guys have these deeper conversations and really actually become vulnerable with one another, you guys are going to get to know each other on a whole new level or almost all over again. Um, it's almost like a brand new energy, okay? An engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is going to be, has potential to be different than it was before, to have that higher level of commitment, to really get to know each other and bond on a deeper level. So just take the messages, how they resonate for you, okay? If it does resonate, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising in Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then guys, when we do our monthlies, our mid-monthlies, our weeklies, you can be notified and you can go check them out. Um, but most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time.